Hello there everyone and welcome to another video with me, KJG. So today I'm going to be giving you my top five tips um, if you haven't started revising for your science GCSEs as of yet. And as of yet meaning the end of the Easter holiday. It is not the end of the world. So um, we'll crack into our top five tips. But first off, I just want to display to my right um, the dates for your examinations. If you do the AQA Combined Science Trilogy exams, those are the dates to working towards. And in between uh, the papers, so after paper one, you have a half term. And then paper two is in the uh, uh, after the half term. But without further ado, let's crack straight on with the video. Tip number one is just start. Whatever starting looks like for you, whether that's a past exam paper, whether that's exam questions, whether that's watching free science lessons, whatever it is, whether that's taking notes on a textbook, whatever it is, just start revising. You'll feel so much better if you just know that you have done something and you continually do something often. And I know it can look so overwhelming. There's so many textbooks that you have to know, so much information that you have to know. But there are people out there like Free Science Lessons who condense the information and make it really easy to understand. So just start revision. And if you don't get anything, it's fine. But you just need to keep getting at it over the next month. My tip number two is to make your revision effective. So that means making uh, the information go into your brain because you've got a month uh, to do that-ish, kind of. You've got um, a month to make effective revision. So what that looks like for me is going through past papers and going, right, I didn't know the answer to this question. I need to revise this. I'll watch a free science lessons video on it take some notes down, recap it, and then I might do the exam question again, and then recap it in a couple of days. Example. For me, it's the likes of electrolysis. I don't really like that subject, and um, I don't particularly understand it very well. Particularly understand it very well. So that's one for me to revise. You might be the same, you might be different, and that's absolutely fine. My third tip is to choose the right methods. My opinion now, as of there's one month to go, it is now too late to make a, an entire flashcard set for biology paper one, an entire flashcard set for biology paper two, an entire flashcard set for chemistry, chemistry paper two, physics paper one, physics paper two. I think it's too late because you'll spend three weeks writing them and then you'll only have a week to actually get all of that information into your brain. And that's not effective or uh, the right method of revision. Now, if there's a topic that you struggle on, I go back to me in electrolysis, I might write a few flashcards on electrolysis, but I wouldn't spend my time going through every single page of the textbook going, right, I need to write a flashcard on every single bullet point here because I need to know it all. I'd write flashcards and uh, on methods that, and, and things that I really, really am stuck on and then attempt to pass papers and um, Cornell notes and all the other methods for the stuff that I do know that I can just gloss over and go, yeah, I still know that, fine, fine, fine. I think it's too late to making banks of flashcards for one paper, one paper, one paper, one paper. You'll spend three weeks writing them and then you won't have any time to test yourself. My fourth tip is ask for help. You won't understand the amount of people who just go, oh, I don't get it. There you go. I'm not even attempting the six marker. I've never heard that word in my life. Um, what the hell? You need to like breathe. You do know it because you've been taught it. Well, you might not know it, but you've definitely been taught it. Um, and if you don't get a topic, say you're going through electrolysis like me and you go, honestly, I don't know what any of these words mean. I need reteaching. I need I need to re be reteach, retaught that. There are people on the internet, for one, who will who have like YouTube videos where they go through um, go through it in a lesser fashion to reteach it to you. Or alternatively, you can ask someone qualified. You can ask a teacher. You can ask um, a tutor. You can ask anyone who's good at science in school. Anything like that to let you know some basics and foundations about the topic, so that hopefully you can have a basic understanding. 
uh, on that. So ask for help. Now is the time to ask for help. If you don't get a topic, ask for help. If you don't understand anything, you need to email your teachers, go to your teachers, go to people in school, ask for help. Um, okay. My fifth tip is don't panic and don't give up. Um, now, panic's actually a, uh, an acronym in science. Positive anode, negative is cathode. But uh, that's for electrolysis, as I know, because I've been revising. Um, but, seriously, don't panic. Um, because you'll be absolutely fine. And the thing is with science, there's, there's quite a lot of content. And uh, I only do combined science, so triple is even more content. But you just need to take a breath and break down the revision into small chunks of things you definitely don't know, which might come up, revise that. For me, electrolysis, uh, if I, there was a six marker on it, I wouldn't really get more than two marks. So I've got to sit there and I've got to reteach myself electrolysis, revise electrolysis, attempt things on electrolysis in past papers. Um, yeah, when you're in the actual exam, or when you're attempting a past paper, if you're doing past papers, you need to mock the exam. You need to sit down at a desk and turn everything off and go, right, I'm in an exam. This is the paper I got. What would I have got? It is so, so key in science that you attempt every question. No blanks whatsoever at all. Even if it's a wild guess, and even in the sixth market, if it's if it's compare the structure and bonding, for example, you go, oh my god, I don't know anything about structure and bonding. Well, you do. You do know things about structure and bonding. You know that there might be a covalent bond. You've heard that before. You know, there might be an ionic bond. Can you try and remember the difference? Uh, they might be arranged in different types of layers. Like anything, even if you think it's completely not, not true you need to write it down and attempt every question because you never know that one mark could be a difference from a three to a four or a four to a five or a five to a six uh, etc um yeah so that those those are my top five tips um for if you haven't started revising um gcse science yet with one month to go there are the dates once again just start, you'll be fine, ask for help. I'm going to just do this again. So just start, make it effective, choose the right methods, ask for help, don't panic and try every question. I've been KJG, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Have a lovely rest of your day and I wish you all do very well in your exams. 